In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an accordion panel in Adobe Muse. So let me show you the, what the effect looks like. I've created uh, this website here uh, with, with the effect. And I created this site called Delicious Recipes. And we have appetizer, entrees, and dessert. And I wanted to organize the information into different appetizers and entrees. So if we click, we see appetizer one as the first panel. If we go over here, if we click on appetizer two, that uh, that panel pops up and you can see the text inside and we click on three, three pops up and we see the text and we have these other panels here. Same thing here and here. So it's a very cool effect that lets you organize information in a particular way and it could be very useful and look nice if styled correctly. Uh, so I did some styling to this and I'll show you exactly how I did this. Uh, so we'll open the project file. Uh, this is the project file here, as you can see, we have our different um, panels here. These are called accordion panels. Um, I'll just delete these. And uh, to enter uh, an accordion panel, you just go to Object right up here. And when you click, when you're in Adobe Muse, you go to Object, Insert Widget, Panel, and Accordion Panel. So click there, and then you have this uh, accordion panel on your cursor. So it's saying, okay, put me somewhere. So we just click to put it somewhere. And we'll just place it right here. If we go and preview in the browser by hitting Command Shift E, <clears throat> we can see we have a nice uh, accordion panel. Okay, so that's, that's it for inserting the accordion panel. But obviously we want to style it differently and make it, make it look a little bit different. <clears throat> so first I want to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, you notice it, it doesn't let me if I try to set the width, and that's because we have some text in here, and this text box is saying, hey, I'm too wide, you can't resize the whole accordion, you'll, you'll have to get rid of me first. Um, so, or either that or make this text box smaller. You see, you can do that like so. Uh, we're going to delete it and add some other text, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the text, and delete, and same thing in here and delete and same thing in here and delete make sure you, you're clicking I call it focus clicking like make sure you click on the text box and not on different aspects of the uh, the accordion panel because you might end up deleting things uh, you don't want to delete alright so now our accordion panels are empty we can resize it alright there we go and let's do something like that Okay, so one thing you'll notice uh, as you're working with this, you can resize the different panels, right? So I resized uh, this first one, but I think it's at a good, um, you know, it's at a good height. We don't, you can go in and kind of resize this box like this, you know, make it smaller, and it won't affect the other one, so each panel can have a different size. Uh, I'm going to keep it like so. Okay, there we go. So now we have uh, these panels and I'm gonna show you how to style it a little bit differently. Uh, if we go, if you click on the label, this is the label section and uh, all you have to do is to, you know, to change the text is to double click inside of it and just change the text, say, you know, appetizer number one. And then I wanna change the font so I highlight the font or no, better yet, you just click inside this box and you'll notice where it says label it says active you want to change this to normal so it changes the state for rollover and mouse down um, and then to change the text for all the panels you just go over here where it says text and pick the font that you want uh, I'm gonna pick Montserrat and you see it changes it for all of them and I'm going to change the color to white. And you see it changed it to white for all the text. Um, and let's see if it changed it for all the other states. So the active state, yep. So it's all good, um, except the active state. The active state is black. Um, so we can change the active state to, um, to white as well. And then we want to change the color of these tabs to a different color. So we just click on the tab, go to 
fill or just click the fill color right here and we're gonna pick um, I'm gonna sample this color right here uh, now because I was on active you see it didn't change it for the rest of them so I have to click on where it says label I have to click on normal and then where it says fill then I pick the color so always remember to set the label to normal so that it goes for um, all the all the tabs that you have in your accordion panel okay and we also notice that so if we preview this in the browser we hit command shift E if you hover over these um, something happened with one where it doesn't have a rollover a different color for the rollover but these turn kind of a gray uh, we don't want it to do that we want it to be maybe kind of this yellow so to do that we click on the first one just click on the first tab where, where it says label click on active and the rollover state we want to change the color so we click on rollover and we want to sample you know this color right now I want to sample this yellow here so there it is alright so if we preview this in the browser you can see um, okay for some reason these are these two change to that yellow but this oh okay um, this first one is not changing let's see why active rollover oh I see um, because the active state yeah the active state is the same color so let's change the active state as well to this yellow so we have a nice you know contrast when we're selecting the different panels um, so we click on active we go to fill we select the sample color and just click that yellow so now you see that appetizer one is active and if you roll over these these are not active but if you roll over they turn yellow and you see appetizer now is that brown because it's not active and this one second one is yellow because it is active okay so that's pretty much it for styling um, all we have to do is change the text in here appetizer number two and appetizer number three and then for text we'll just add a text box in here we'll say some text and the same you know you can just you know write more text obviously and we'll just put that in there and we'll just put this in there okay some text okay so that's pretty much it you know you obviously can write more text in there but I'm gonna copy this panel to these other areas and so we can have three panels and if we preview this in the browser you have these cool panels that uh, you know you can write whatever you want in the content and you know I'll add some a little more text some text number two and some text number three just to show you you know that you can add as much text as you want you can format the text in here and really style it to make it look like a nice accordion panel um, you know let's preview it in the browser again you see and this we'd have to change the text there so that's it for uh, accordion panels um, if you like this video please subscribe uh, again you can do a lot of creative stuff with these panels um, you know the sky's the limit you know whatever idea you have you can you can work with these um, cool so yeah if you like this video please subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks <laughs>